Hi guys! I'm here again and I just got a package today and this is the uh, this is the packaging that I got. This is from United Kingdom and this includes um, my much awaited controversial uh, if I pronounce it correctly Lichner Foundation which is famous in Europe and this is widely used for um, um, theatrical makeup, cinemas, um, whatnot, right? So this is what's inside the package. And I was lucky enough to have my request granted from from the, the person I've got these from to get some samples of the shade. So um, unfortunately, the shade that I've ordered because I, I relied uh, primarily on the shade chart that was given to me uh, via email. So, I chose... Where is that? I chose the shade of coffee, actually. Which, if you hear it, right? It's coffee, so it's supposed to be dark. So, that's... And basing on the charts it, itself, the coffee... Um, was the one that I ch um, that was uh, closest to my skin tone because I was afraid um, but I was very afraid that when I get the darker one that it would be too dark for me and I don't want that to happen so to be safe I chose the coffee which this is the the foundation it's uh, 30 mil or uh, an ounce a spin um, I've, I've read reviews and searched this online but it's very very uh, hard to get uh, an actual review of a consumer about this. By the way, I'm rock I'm rocking my green lips today. Hope you like it. So this is the shade that that the coffee looks like. So as you can see, it's dark, right? But the problem is, um, with 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 that color that's supposed to match my skin tone, right? Um, checking on the the sample that I've got here this one coffee just the color um, if I swatch it on my hand it's two, one, two, three shades lighter when blended so um the actual foundation um does not does not give out um the same shade that it looks like on the jar so if you're choosing the shade on the chart um it should be at least um two shades darker than you so if you're if you're a natural choose something that is darker on the chart so that you would end up getting a lighter shade because it, it transforms into a lighter color when you apply it on your skin and blend it out. Um, it's very sad for me because I'm looking forward to have my shade. And out of all I've got, um, I didn't have my, my, my skin tone match. So anyway, I'm going to get another one. Probably get a darker one. Probably the, the tan or caramel. I think it's caramel. I don't have the chart in front of me, so yeah. I think there's three shades darker than coffee, so I'll check on that. So instead of me doing a swatch for you and doing a review on myself, I'm gonna do a review on someone else, and uh, she will be my cousin. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and welcome. Uh, please uh, help me welcome my cousin, and she she's here with me. Her name is Jack. And here she is. Come on. So, yeah, as you can see, yeah, we're cousins. Believe me, we're cousins. Um, she's my first cousin. So, well, I'm not gonna give you the history. So, but she's just my cousin. Believe me, she's my cousin. All right. So, I'm gonna do the swatch on her. So at least I can justify the coverage and and how it would look on a person right not just uh, a picture at least you can see it in action right so here she is she does not wear makeup um, normally I just pulled her 
um, to do the video with me. I had to beg. Anyway, she's nice enough to do that. So, yeah, let's gonna find out. I'm gonna use my newly discovered brush. This is a synthetic brush. And this is, uh, this is, uh, I believe a paintbrush that is made in Korea. It's called Flat number 117, 1171B. So, I hope it focuses. This is the name. Yeah, I've had the bigger one which I used. Yeah, I, I use paintbrushes for cosmetic purposes. It's the same. It's just... It's just the same. I don't know how to explain it, but cosmetic brush, paint brush, it's the same. Believe me. Not too yellow, but not too pink um, undertone. Just, just bright undertone. So let's let's check out a blemish here, some redness. So this is how the coffee looks like on her. I hope you can see the blemish, but it's just minimal because she's not really an acne prone girl. So, yeah, there was a small blemish there that was red, but it's gone now. So, let's just show you guys how the coverage is. That's how it looks. It's gonna grab. Okay, so we're back. So, that didn't that. Uh, exercise did not, did not give much of a uh, justice because she has just a small mark on her face well sad for me I don't have any more cousins that has a scar on their faces so she's the best model I could get all right so we as you can see she has some redness uh, here and we're gonna try to cover that up um, because this foundation claims to have a very good coverage plus uh, benefits on dry skin tone right so um, we're gonna take m m more of that coffee uh, blend of coffee uh, shade of L Lichner so we're gonna try to cover up her blemish so as you can see it's just one swipe just minimal pretty much the redness of of that pimple is already gone so pretty much the coverage I would say it's out of 10 it will be 8 a little bit around her nose because of the redness all right so we're back again sorry the camera went dead so we had to charge so pretty much doing a full foundation on her and if you remember, I've only used just a pea-sized amount of foundation on her face. And this is how it looks. So, yeah, I think this foundation is alright. And I think it probably does what it promises to do with the coverage and the moisturizing effect. So... We're going to come back um, with Jack after a few moments, but for the meantime, we're going to we're going to do another. All right, so I'm back and let me just call out our second guest of today. And her name is Lourdes. So she's here. She's another cousin of mine. Come here. She's just a small girl. And if you believe it or not, she's still my cousin. So, yeah, our family's, um, what do you call this? Um, like, um, a melting pot, right? So, whatever. Yeah, so she's another skin tone. Um, so, if you've seen Jack a while ago, um, she's like fair. And she is Jack's sister, younger sister. Um... And she has uh, a little bit darker skin tone. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to do some practice on her. So, she has a very um, smooth skin. 
with not to mention very nice hair today. Yeah, so say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, she's 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 very shy. So yeah, so um, we're gonna do uh another foundation. I should have done this the other way around using. Um, the darkest I have. We're gonna do some swatch, so at least we can um, tell um, about the colors, right? So, yeah, we've already done with the the uh, coverage review, and we're gonna finalize that after a few moments. Let's just wait for the foundation to set on Jack's face. So, on Lourdes, we're gonna swatch. So we're gonna start off with. The almond. Almond is this shade. It's sorry about my nails. Just don't mind my nails. Almond is like a pinky undertone, fair pinky undertone. So remember, I told you, um, it's going to set um, one to two, one to two shades lighter than your skin tone um, compared to the color it shows here. So yeah, so I'm gonna. I'm just going to clean my brush and get that um, almond blend of okay so we're back and this is the swatches of um, the Lichner so we've got um, we've got the, the first swatch which is um, blend of almond which is a pinky undertone this is the swatch and then the second swatch is blend of beige which is warm more in a yellow undertone and the third one this one is blend of porcelain which is very fair and the third one is blend of coffee, which is a little bit yellow, a little bit yellow and on the darker side. But if you blend it in, you can see it's very thick. It's not like the runny foundations. All right, so. All right, so that's how, how the swatches look like. So, hope you enjoyed this, girls. And we're, I'm looking forward into making more, um, uh, more good finds about cosmetics. Like um, this uh, foundation that I've discovered, which is not yet available um, in the market here in Asia, here in the Philippines, anywhere. I've searched, I've searched, there's none. So, the only place that I could get it is in the uh, in United Kingdom or anywhere else in Europe. So... Yeah, so I'm happy that I found it. I'm just looking forward to getting my right shade. So, all right. So, what do you think about the video? So, if there's anything, just comment down below. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Bye! <laughs>